okay a uh, 500 gram squash ball is traveling at on its uh, right uh, with a speed of 5 meter per second it then hits the wall and bounces back with the same speed in 0 0.3 seconds find the a the momentum of the squash ball okay we can uh, first of all we draw a picture to represent the uh, the question okay for us to understand what's happening okay Draw a diagram first. Okay, so uh, we, we here there is a wall. Okay, this is the wall, and there is a squash ball. There's a squash ball. Um, okay, yeah. So now there is a squash ball coming. Okay, squash ball coming. For a second. Okay, there is a squash ball. Uh, which uh, coming. Okay, uh, so with a uh, speed initial velocity of 5 meter per second, okay, traveling to the right, okay, traveling to its right, so uh, going to the right hand side. Uh, the squash ball is uh, the mass, the mass of squash ball is 500 gram, okay. Uh, remember, change this uh, gram into uh, kilogram, okay, change to kilogram, so uh, this mass of Squash ball is uh, 0 0.5 kilogram. Make all in SI unit. Okay. So it hits the wall. This squash ball hits the wall and bounce back at the same speed. Ah, you see that? Bounce back at the same speed. And he say bounce back means he move in the opposite direction. And now he move in the opposite direction. Bounce back with the same speed. So the uh, V is equal to... Um, because this is U... Okay, u is equal to 5. Uh, since he said bounce back, means it move in the opposite direction. Yeah, initially, he said to the uh, right. Now, bounce back means uh, move in the opposite direction. Means now he move to the left. Move to the left is negative value. Uh, it's negative. You should put negative 5. Uh, same speed. Uh, so, we have the same magnitude, 5. Uh, but he say bounce back means the opposite direction. You should put a negative sign there. Uh, put a negative sign. Okay, the negative sign is very important. And then this one is uh, zero point three second is the time of collision, right? So uh, yeah, uh, what I can say is this one. Yeah, it bounce back. Um, so now the ball now move in the opposite direction. The V is you should put a negative sign. Uh, Okay. Okay. Remember this. Uh, this uh, negative. Uh, you need to put a negative sign. Uh, uh this negative sign just means direction. Uh, is direction to the left. Uh, okay. Uh, in you when you substitute the value, you should put a negative sign there. Now find the momentum of the squash ball. Uh, right now he. This is the momentum before collision. Before it hits the wall. So A momentum uh, symbol is P uh, mass time velocity. So the mass is uh, uh, zero point five kilogram. Zero point five kilogram multiplied by velocity uh, five. Okay, meter per second to the right. So what's the answer? Zero point five times five. Uh, yeah, it's two point five meter per second. Uh, uh, 2.5 um, this one's mass velocity so it's kilogram meter per second uh, that's the answer okay so next uh, B uh, we want to find the impulse of uh, ball uh, impulse is uh, J symbol J it is the change in momentum okay change in momentum means uh, use the final momentum minus initial momentum uh, so it's uh, mv uh, minus mu okay mv minus mu uh, ho however the mass here is common common terms so we can factorize the mass factorize the mass now um, so mass is 0 0.5 kilogram okay you look at here because it say bounce back with the same speed so uh, this velocity has a negative sign Huh? The final velocity has a negative sign. Initial velocity is positive. So, bounce back in the opposite direction. 
uh, the final velocity, you need to put the negative sign uh, to show the direction to the left. Yeah? This one direction to the right, this one direction to the left. The direction to the left, you need to put a negative sign. Uh, so in your calculation here, you remember to put a negative sign. If you forget, uh, this is the most important thing in this part. Uh, if you forget to put this negative sign, then you are doomed. Yeah, you are doomed. Okay, so negative 5 minus uh, initial velocity is a 5. Okay. Uh, so what's the answer? Uh, okay, so impulse is a negative 5. Uh, okay, negative 5. Uh, this one unit also, uh, impulse has the same unit as uh, momentum. So uh, also kilogram meter per second, right? Uh, moment, impulse has the same unit as momentum. Uh, okay, so um, yeah, here also it got a negative sign for impulse. Right? Uh, impulse. Uh, negative 5. Yeah? Uh, also important, you, you need to maintain the negative sign here. Yeah? Uh, uh, and then uh, you can write direction to the left. Yeah? Direction to the left. Uh, that's the impulse, yeah? Direction to the left. Uh, okay? Uh, so, actually, you can say um, this is the impulse, yeah? Uh, impulse this way, yeah? This is the direction of the impulse to the left, yeah? Because negative, yeah? Negative. Uh, remember, all these um, impulse, all of them are vector. Yeah? Impulse, they are vector. Momentum also vector. That's why you all uh, you have the negative sign. Yeah, all this momentum impulse, all of them are vector. So you you must have a negative sign and say directions. Yeah. Now what is the impulsive force on the ball? Impulsive ball on the on force on the balls. Um. Okay. So we uh we know that impulse is uh force times uh, the time taken. Yeah. Right, time taken. So, uh, ah, this is the impulsive force, yeah, the F. So, just put an um, impulse is negative 5, uh, and then F delta T, time taken is 0 0.3 second. Okay, here's the time. And what's the uh, force? Uh, so, let's calculate. Okay, so the answer is um, uh, negative, the answer is negative, uh, sixteen point six seven. Okay, sixteen point six seven. Uh, Newton. Yeah, this one also direction to the left. Okay, direction to the left. Uh, remember, uh, all this force force also a vector. You need to give direction. Yeah. Uh, impulse. Impulse is also a is also a vector. Uh, you need to give direction, right? This direction you need to give, yeah. Uh, so uh, okay. So we can also can say um, the direction of impulsive force also to the left. Uh, of course, uh, force impulsive force. This is a force of the wall on ball. Okay, uh, force of wall on ball. That's why it's like. Push the ball away. Uh, push the ball away to the left. Uh, that's why now the after collision, now the ball moves to the left. Because force of wall on the ball, this is the impulsive force. Uh, this is the uh, impulsive force. It pushed the ball to the left. Uh, that's why the force is negative. Negative means to the left. Okay? Push the, push the ball to the left. Okay, so that's it for these questions. Just remember to put a negative sign okay, if uh, direction to the left.